Hello everyone, Lord Adrian here with uh, another Grey Goo replay. Spawning on the left side, we have Dallas Fires Club. Spawning on the right side, we have the Red King. There was a bit of engagement. Eventually both players lost their initial scouts. And currently the the Red King is going to push, push in with a trident and a revolver. Try and get those uh, harvester kills that are going out to harvest around here. Which, as you can see here, he got it severely damaged. But once it comes out, it comes back at full health. And he has to be careful not to uh, have it die next to him. Due to the fact that it will have a mass explosion radius. Yeah, he's getting the backing away. Did this one suffer any splash? Nope. The radius is actually quite small. But it's still incredibly dangerous. It does like a hundred damage if I remember correctly. Nice sniping in these harvesters. It's denying the entire refinery of economy. The Dallas Wires Club currently has his own uh, trident and revolver out. The trident has 140 health, so it can take a lot of damage. The revolver does have a good DPS. Trident's getting some next some nice shots across the water, getting some pretty good damage on the revolver, but he's trying to run away with it and he does back off. There's another revolver out, so he could potentially win the engagement with because of his higher DPS. Looks like the Dallas Fires Club's going to send his conduit wire all the way out. Perhaps going to put some anti yep, anti-heavy sentinel. Though he is running low on, on uh, resources. He paused both his war factories to get this com that completed done as soon as possible. The Red King also sent out his conduit wire a little bit, but maybe just get a closer refinery placement, perhaps? A second refinery is coming down. I'll oh, parents way down here. I was looking I was trying to do some counting, but I've always been told never to count during a cast. I can see why. Looks like a good send nice engagement. These guys are still on a move or not attack move. Now he knows there's a threat on his front line. He's building an anti-heavy sentinel. Or is he transferring? Looks like he's building it. No, he's transferring it because it's already at full health. The anti-heavy sentinel is not going to protect that that extractor. And currently the uh, Dallas Fires Club also has uh, four refinery, so it looks like we see some standard eco with some aggressive uh, play to ward off enemy harvesters. Now he's starting to do a bit of economic damage, got a single harvester. Trying to repair the extractor, but it probably will go down. To move the anti-heavy sentinel up forward, gets a kill on one of the revolvers. He needs to focus on the revolvers, not the tridents. Because tridents have way too much health. Though it is one revolver shot from dying, this one. Well, one salvo from the revolver, and that was a big shot. Because they do, uh, they do, uh, three sets of five damage. So, uh, uh, armor six, though it does have three armor penetration, an armor six would actually it won't be that effective versus uh, armor 6 or armor 10 uh, units and well mainly buildings that have that much armor however it does full damage to Gladys and other tank units oh he switched targets oh he got killed that off before it went down which is good <coughs> Yeah, a lot of people rather prefer revolvers over tridents because it has a higher DPS, though they don't have as much tankiness. And this uh, trident was sort of like dancing. Oh, look at this! We got some aggressive turret pushing. Four anti-heavy sentinels on the front line. Does he have the upgrade? To... Okay, he will. He is researching power because that is a critical flaw in this type of strategy. If the uh, power connection. This will make it so even if they're unpowered, these anti-heavy sentinels will continue fighting. But I was saying before, a lot of people rather prefer revolvers over tridents for damage-wise, which is good, but in 
infantry in the light phase, I I would rather rather see tridents over revolvers. Revolvers have a damage of uh, 15 and a rate of fire of 1.5, while the uh, trident has a damage 7 and a rate of fire of 1. So it ha does have a slightly rate of fire, so just add additional uh, half to 7, which will be 10.5 uh, damage per second versus the revolver's 15. Oh, oh, nah, 1.5 seconds. The uh, revolver has a damage of basically a 10 damage per second. So it is more of increased armor penetration, however, it's not as tanky, you can't really uh, sustain the fight, so. Versus uh, low damage units, you want to use uh, tridents, due to the fact that they can tank so much. Versus armored units, you need DPS, that's when you go revolvers. <coughs> And looks like we got a lot of artillery sentinels building. Looks like this is a massive turret push. By the way, this this upgrade only affects anti-heavy sentinels, not for uh, uh, artillery sentinels. I think there is an artillery sentinel one. I maybe it was just the AA one for the tech. I'm not exactly sure. Looks like uh, the Red King's going for uh, uh, repairs, and longbows can now target ground units. Been interesting. Wouldn't expect that. I'm sure, he does have a couple monitors. Perhaps he's thinking it's going to be aircraft play, and he wants those AAA also to be attacking ground while it's not shooting up the air. But it looks like just a single AA, or well, a single flying scout. We do have a silo out. Perhaps he think about economic tech eventually. Or perhaps he actually wants the additional um, storage, which he can actually benefit the additional storage because he's expanding quite aggressively. Oh, looks like we've got a bit of a f uh, flank, and look at all these. Look, he's moving those anti-heavy sentinels in position, ready. He's getting head to gain. He, there is a larger force here, but it is, look at all the damage he's sustained. It won't really last that long. Moving this art anti heavy sentinel away, and they're going to just try to run past, which they're sustaining quite a bit of losses. He needs to get a force back over here to contend with these oh, forces in his main base. What he should do is go and snipe this condo, snipe this condo wire, which denies. So, even though the heavy anti heavy sentinels will be denied. However, all the other buildings will be denied. I think I'll start to screw that up. Basically, it will affect everything except for the anti-heavy sentinels. Which can be pretty critical, but I don't think he probably would get the, the sniping time, because there's a... Ooh, there's an alpha coming out. I always want to see an alpha in a, in a gameplay. That's not a big, uh, full-on noob, uh sit back and eco because there's been aggress aggression by both sides but holy crap that's a lot of sentinels looks like we got a uh, another attacking force since he invests so much into these defenses he had trouble building up a force I would say Note that this population is 70, 70 of it is consumed by the Alpha. So currently he has half the army, but he has a lot of defenses. He's going to see there's two large war factories in the front line. It has better reinforcement value for the front line in case it gets attacked. And, but it makes it also a bit more vulnerable. As you can see here, this force could go up and try to take it on. Taking on the units before, juicy targets will be the refineries, especially this one since the- oh wait, nope, another visual gra graphical glitch where the conduit wire is invisible. He's actually hitting the conduit wire, now look at all that unpowered. There's like four refineries un being unpowered right now. Though he's still sustaining a profit, I think due to the fact that uh, did all of his production was cut off also. Now he's doubling up the wire. But yeah, by cutting off that one wire, he denied refinery off of four refineries. Which is actually pretty big. Imagine half the economy just gone. He 
He's trying to get a large war factory, but these anti-heavy sentinels will deal with them. He should probably back up. Now this is a lot of... How to break this? Artillery. That's probably the best way, just get a much, as much free damage as possible. And Alpha would also do some good if the other, if he wasn't getting Alpha himself. I'd, honestly, I say human structures have way too much armor. Because it can be a very aggressive gameplay like this, and they, it's just really hard to kill the buildings because they just have so much armor. Nice counterattack on the refineries. Looks like the Red King, since he can't expand the middle, he's expanding downwards. Which is good. Currently see the Dallas Buyers Club has a lot of refineries on this middle area. Five, in fact. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten refineries. Now that's a lot of economy. That's probably why he got the silos, just to store up the additional economy. He got two silos. Which, I'm surprised people don't really, when they have so much eco at times where they can't really spend it on anything, people should just build silos, just to store up as much economy as possible. Silos are cheap, I think they're like 100 credits, at a point where you have a lot of uh, economy, that's nothing. But he currently is producing a lot of stuff, perhaps now he's like back to 48, perhaps he's building another refinery somewhere. The Red King... He went to teleport, right? Uh, yeah, he went to teleporter. <laughs> he knows teleport tech, and the, that's basically one of the major weaknesses of the human player. Destroy the core, everything comes unpowered. And you have to wait a minute, entire minute before everything gets rebuilt. So he has a lot of uh, revolvers ready to snipe a hit squad of lancers, which there is a hit squad of lancers. He destroyed that AA scout. He does not want him to be. He wants him to teleport into a wall of units. Perhaps he shouldn't try to go for the most juicy target. Ooh, the Alpha is out. As you can see here, there is a human pilot. Right there. Anti-air? I got no air. I think he saw the- wait, he went for the cloud burst text, so that's what you saw. Looks like he's getting a couple upgrades, daggers gain stealth, and harvesters gain stealth. He wants his harvesters not to be sniped when they're moving around. That's a lot of uh, <laughs> cloud bursts. Cloud bursts, they have 36 damage, which is pretty good, but I think his overall cross of like 4, maybe 5 shots, I'm not exactly sure. So, it is, so armored, it's not very effective versus armored units, because. I need to see an individual burst, just to be sure. Oh, looks like he got depowered. Lancers hit the core. That's what he was trying to prevent. I think he, tele he teleported up here, and his units are over here. Lancers are very effective. Now he has to wait 60 seconds before the base gets rebuilt. Though he still has anti-heavy sentinels ready. And but, however, he has an alpha going the offense. He is not expecting this. What does, when does he notice it? He hasn't noticed it yet. You heard the sound effect. There's a... But when does he notice it? He's trying to attack the base. The Alpha probably is actually coming back to deal with this force. The base should... The core should be being rebuilt any time now. You, their alpha has still not been spotted spotted yet. It's 
Yeah, you can see those anti-air units, they have a lot of damage, but they just have no armor penetration. I highly disagree. Look, it's actually taking them so long to, uh, I'm just going to disable player toggle camera, but you can see how little damage they, look, they're doing one damage at a time, so they're not really doing, and now he knows the, uh, alpha shot. He hasn't seen the alpha itself yet, but he... it looks like it does like a barrage over six. One. So a three armored unit will, will cause the damage to be one. And now he sees the alpha on the map, but he saw the shot before. Yeah, this is a good tactic versus non-armored opponents. So it can be quite effective versus like Gu players who mass striders or Mass Commando, Mass Stalker, Mass Revolver, but it's not very good against against uh, Mass uh, Gladys. They were doing one damage per time. I'm not even sure how many... It says damage 36, but that's across the entire volley. And the armor would be affected against every single shot. Looks like there's a hostile, uh, unclickable anti-heavy sentinel right there to the to me. Looks like we got some aircraft out. No uh, payload upgrade, though they can. They, he's probably just trying to get a. Wait, why would he build aircraft versus all those cloud bursts? That's not so. I would say it forces them to build AA, but he already built AA. So this is probably not going to be very effective. Perhaps it's going to harass the base, which is another good possibility. Do you see an alpha out by him also? Nope. He, he, he's just staying away from the alpha, trying to do damage everywhere else, which is a good uh, idea. Harvesters do have camouflage. Does it alpha have self detection? Yes, it does. That's why I can spot the uh, harvesters. Does 200 damage and uh, arm and penetration of six, so it can penetrate all armor. Looks like another lancer attack to the base, which is really annoying. Is it cost effective for him? It's denying all that mining, so yes, it probably is cost effective. As you can see here, he's going for attack. He's attacking again, but I think these. They only do one damage versus ground structures. I think. Maybe it's two. Well, armor of ten, so only do one versus large factories. I want to say they do first of four. That is the case. Yep. Now this is he's just continuing his base. Which I know plus he's going for stealth uh, daggers. Oh, it's Dallas Byers that went for stealth harvester, not uh, the Red King. He's just sending some damage to his, uh, his, uh, Alpha, and now when his units get cl close, he initiates a big force pushback. Don't know, sure, not sure how much damage it will do, or it does. Let's see, how would he stop that, uh, Blancer teleport? I would say get a teleport his own and snipe the lamp the teleport hub. That's my best option, my best recommendation. Dagger came in and now just shooting away at these uh, longbows. It Dagger does, well, only has attack of 2 damage. And now it's spotted in the bush and then uh, there goes that 
army. Though he does have an alpha, he's just being contained in his base because of these attacks on the side and then the attacks on the HQs on the core. Got a lot of fighter craft. Perhaps you should invest into the repair uh, docks. Not, I think that'll be on the air tech. Let's see. They do have 150 health, so they can take a quite a bit of AA fire, and they're not. And he's not facing against goo AA, which so they do not have airy effect. Goo AA is definitely the strongest AA, just because it's a has an AOE effect and units have to when you target them to location they will all go to that location then gradually spread out. Same thing with the uh oh as you can see here he knew, he counted how much he took the uh knows how much time it takes for a teleport and he, so he so he uh so he guessed the amount of time he had left he should repair that car immediately So far, this has been an extremely good game. An alpha forced to be on defense. That's something that you do not want, but it is effective defense. They sustain minimal damage. However, I don't think there is any way for him to repair it with any of the technology. Even if he did not go repair subroutines would not affect the alpha. While the beater player and well, the goo player's uh, proto perch can heal over time. While the beater, oh look at that. That's why you don't really want to use your fighter aircraft versus all that uh, ground army, I'd say. Though he is trying to kite in and out, but they just have just so much rate of fire that kiting doesn't really isn't that effective. Though this force is nice and cut off, so it's good he's taking it out. These fighter aircraft do have a minor splash damage, which is good. He's trying to uh, move out of the shots. Lancer trying to get its full damage in because that's the primary damage dealing versus the Alpha because it actually did quite a bit of damage to the Alpha. Pushback, oh, apparently the pushback does do 100 damage. So it will one shot most light units, excluding the Trident. It's nice seeing a. It's hard, you'll hardly ever see an epic unit in a, uh, actually a, in a match with people know what they're doing. <laughs> Push into the Gladys. That's funny. How is the economy looking from both players? This center field is about ready to run dry. And a lot of these areas are still doing fine. Yeah, the center area is about ready, ready to dry up, which then Dias Buyers Club will have his con basically cut in half. He needs to expand down here, get as many exp expansions up as possible because he knows it's going to come out, run out soon. He's being very cost effective with his alpha, I, I believe. I think it's more than paid for us now. And all the AA is now gone in this area. Now his, all of his uh, sites are doing massive damage. He's trying to use alpha to destroy the extractors. He's trying to do as much damage as possible. He needs to take these Gladys and take on this force. So there is, I think, nope, it'll be on 1v1, but they're severely damaged, so it'll be easy to deal with. Destroy that harvester. None shall live. Either way, he lost that extractor. He needs to keep his extractors alive, because this is now out. You can see, yep, it's now out, and now... The extractors are down. Though he does have, he hasn't been spending as much. I think he's been preparing for. Oh yeah, he's definitely been preparing. Look at all the, <laughs> all the, thirteen thousand possible resources he has been stocking up for this case. This guy has been doing everything I want to see in a replay. Getting alpha, getting stopping teleports, building a mass amount of silos ready prepared for when he runs out of the economy in our area.
and he's actually been micromanaging his economy. So even if he sustained heavy economic damage or, or in structure damage, he would be fine. He has so much stored resources. He has enough stored resources to build two additional alphas. That's how much stored resources he has. Oh, look the wall off. If he gets... Wait. This is uh, Dallas's wall off. He Now he's trying to contain his opponent. Not a lot of people build walls. For you here who are watching my replays who do not know about walls, the human walls, the player's units can shoot through the walls and see through the walls while the other player cannot see past the, wall, the, past the walls. So it's make it's very good for containing a pl player in AA shot. Not exactly sure how much damage AA shots is, but if it's 200, it will one shot any aircraft in the air. I believe it might have an air effect to it also. I just hardly ever seen Alpha. Yep, he uh, surrendered. He had not. He had. Wow, that this lag. I think it's because the alpha got paused mid shot. But oh, his HQ was killed. Or I think it's no, that's because he surrendered. Really. Well, this is a very good replay. And it's Lord Ajon saying thank you for watching. Signing off.